everyone, so this video will be showing my Harry Potter autographs. So as it says at the top, this is written by my dad, <laughs> principal actors, minor characters, video game voice actors and extras. Um, this video was suggested, I've got my shout out sheet here, by Penpalda on YouTube and that's their blog and Instagram account if you'd like to have a look at them, follow them, anything like that. So this was uh, a lo video that's been a long time coming to be honest. The last time I updated my Harry Potter autographs collection was a year ago, which I can't quite believe myself, but anyway let's get straight to it. So that's my list of everybody, I have a list. So this is, oh, sorry, we'll start with genuine autographs, there's preprints at the back. So here we go. So the first section is Hogwarts students. So we have Bonnie Wright as Ginny Weasley. Two, Ivana Lynch as Luna Lovegood. This one, obviously you can see that because it's in gold. This one you can't see very well, but it's there. Uh, Tiana Benjamin as, this is a EastEnders cast card, it's Chelsea Fox, but she played Angelina Johnson in Harry Potter. Julianne oh, oh, Wright. Some people have said it's Hugh, some people have said it's Huff. So, Julianne, Hugh, Huff, whichever, she is apparently quite well known in America, dancer-wise. Uh, but I know, I know she was an extra, she was a Ravenclaw student, I think, in the first Harry Potter. Then we have her brother, Derek, Hugh, Huff, whichever one it is. And I know he's... I think he's been on Dancing on Ice or something. He's quite a famous dancer in America, but he was an extra in the first Harry Potter as well. And then we have Shafali Chowdhury as Pavati Patil. I have more of her further on. Um, Rupert Grint as Ron Weasley, signed at the back, which I'll show you in a minute. Matthew Lewis is now a long bottom. I've got more of him further on in the folder. James and Oliver Phelps. Fred and George Weasley. I've got more of them over on in the folder. These are my top trumps. I'm hoping to get a lot of signed top trumps because, I don't know, I just really like the way they look. And I'll show you the Rupert Grint. Rupert Grint is signed on the back. And then we have Scarlet Byrne, who plays Pansy Parkinson. I've recently written to all three, I believe those three actors that played Pansy Parkinson and I've recently written to them, to all three of them so I hope I get a reply back soon uh, and I've got a lot of Harry Potter requests out at the minute so the next one, Hugh Mitchell as Colin Creevy Oliver Lavery Farag who was an extra student, there's a letter there Uh, Matthew Lewis, Neville Longbottom, and then Matthew Lewis dedicated when I wrote to him. He signed three for three, I sent him this, I bought that one, I sent him this, the Top Trumps card and this, and he signed all three. Because I had the cool idea of collecting the video game autographs as well, because I play the video games, and I've just done a video on the video games as well. Um, that was a mouthful. <laughs> and... I haven't actually seen any Harry Potter video game autographs from anybody else, so if you have any, please let me know. But as you know, he played Neville Longbottom in the films, and he voiced himself in the various video games as well. And then we have Shiori Morris, who sent me this photo, and a lovely letter at the back. Very long. Um, she was an extra in Harry Potter. And she also sent me, I haven't got it on me at the minute, but she sent me a call sheet from the films, because it does say in the letter somewhere, a call sheet from an earlier Harry Potter film. And as you are a big fan, I thought that you might like to have it more than I do. That's pretty much what it says in there. So thank you very much to her. She sent me a call sheet, so I was really pleased with that. And the next one, Freddie Stromer as Cormac McLaggen. For you Game of Thrones fans, he's coming into Game of Thrones Season 6, playing Samuel Tarly's brother. So I'll be definitely keeping an eye on him. And when the first photos are released, they'll be getting sent to be autographed as well. And then this is my little James and Oliver Phelps collection, uh, Fred and George Weasley. So this is one I purchased, and these are when I sent off to them. Uh, I sent a picture to them, but they sent me this back. So that's one of their own. Oh. And I sent this too, and it says, To Emma, thanks for your letter. Um, this one's James's. 
but I sent one to Oliver and he hasn't replied. Uh, well, he did reply, sorry, because he sent me the Top Trumps card, but he didn't sign this photo that I sent him. Obviously, I sent him one of George and he didn't sign it, but I'm quite happy anyway because I've got quite a few of theirs now. The next one, Jamie Whaler as Crab. Um, it's That's got like some information on the back as well. I purchased that one. The next one, Shafali Chowdhury. I got four for four from her because I had four things I desperately wanted autographing. And I sent all four to her. And I, oh sorry, I wrote in the letter, I'm really sorry that there's a lot to autograph, but I couldn't decide what I wanted autographing. So I sent the Top Trumps card, her in her Yule Ball costume, which she dedicated, her voicing herself in the video game, and this one. Because I just really liked all four, and I knew I wanted to get the top trump signed. And, and shockingly, surprisingly, she did do all four, because some people don't. But So yeah, I was happy with that. And then Afshan Azad as Padma Patil, so her sister. And then Danny Harmer. Now... I only discovered this a few months ago when I bought the autograph. A lot of people know Danny Harmer from Tracy Beaker, obviously, but she was actually an extra in the first film. No, I, I didn't have any idea about it. I didn't know, so I thought that was fascinating. So I bought the autograph. And then Devon Murray. Oh, I nearly forgot then. is Seamus Finnegan. And at the back, there's like a bio on Devon Murray. Uh, Robert Pattinson. I recently got this one. And I'm so happy. This is obviously a photo of him in Twilight as Edward Cullen. But he played Cedric Diggory in Harry Potter. And I'm just so happy to get that one back. I've been after Robert Pattinson for ages. And I finally got it. So the next section is Professors. And Hogwarts staff. So I've got Zoe Wanamaker. This was, if you've been following me for a while. Sorry, you'll know. This was one of the first Harry Potter ones I ever received back. And I regularly talk to her PA on Twitter. Um, I just, yeah, I really like Zoe Wanamaker, so I was really pleased to get this back. Carolyn Pickles, who was a uh, charity Burbage in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1, where she was et by a snake, which is quite exciting. <laughs> so, Carolyn Pickles. Gemma Jones, these are both dedicated. I sent off to Gemma Jones quite a while back try and get this I don't know if you can see it but it's side I sent off to Gemma Jones quite a while back and I literally got Gemma Jones within a couple of days she was an amazing signer really really quick I am tempted to write to her again as well and then Miriam Margolis played Professor Pomona Sprout uh, that's one of her own I didn't send that one she signed one of her own that was quite quick as well to be fair and then we have Applebrook, who played this teacher. Uh, I think she's supposed to be Wilhelmina Grubbly Plank, but a lot of people credit her as just a, a teacher. And she sent me this lovely letter. She signed the back of this, and in between there's a Christmas card, because I sent it around Christmas time. So I have three from her. Ian Hart, who played Quirrell. David Bradley, who played Argus Filch. That's also one for the... Game of Thrones and Doctor Who collections. Jim Broadbent, dedicated both. I really like these ones. Uh, Deborah Lee Taylor, who was an unidentified uh, teacher. She signed that and typed me a lovely letter up at the back. Emma Thompson, I have three for. So I have this one I sent off, which she dedicated. That one I bought, and that one I bought. So I'm really, really happy to get that. And Emma Thompson didn't take that long, again, either, to be fair. And then finally, we have Alan Rickman. This is 100% genuine. I got it from a, a really good friend. Uh, not much to be said, really. I mean, obviously, he played Severus Snape, and I miss him dearly. So, and I'm very, very, very lucky to have this. So the next one is Death Eaters and Supporters. So first up we have Dave Lagino, who played Femora Greyback. He is also no longer with us, unfortunately. So I'm very lucky to have this too. And then that's Nick Moran. It isn't signed here, but over on the other page I have a card signed by Nick Moran. He played Scabior. Then we have Jason Isaacs, who plays Lucius Malfoy. 
Timothy Spall, who played um, Peter Pettigrew, Wormtail. Um, I wrote to him and I didn't send this card. Uh, he sent me that one back. So whether it, I'm not sure on its, obviously on its authenticity. Uh, but it looks pretty genuine. And then we have John Campling, who I met a few weeks back. And, or oh, I said this before on my ones video, because I got a John from John Campling, which is a wand he makes, ones he makes himself. And if you've watched my ones video, he's put an autograph thing on the wand. So I have two autographs from him. And he was honestly one of the nicest people I've ever, ever met. So, John Campling, who played uh, the Death Eater that stopped the train. And then, this is Muggles. So we have two Fiona Shaws, who play Petunia Dursley. Two Harry Mellings, that one's from Merlin, who played Dudley Dursley. Michelle Farley, who played Hermione's mum. And this is obviously a... Oh, well, I say obviously. If you watch Game of Thrones, this is a photo of Michelle as Catelyn Stark. So that's for the Game of Thrones as well. Imelda Brown, who played Mrs. Cole from the Orph Tom Riddle's Orphanage. And Eric Sykes, who played Frank Bryce in um, the Goblet of Fire. And um, he's also no longer with us, so I'm lucky to get that too. Then the next one is uh, Goblins and Other Creatures. So we have Michael Hembry. This is a photo that my friend got me from a convention, but then, a few weeks ago, I met him as well. So I got this one signed, signed up there, Dear Emma. So I met him and he was really lovely as well. And then I have two Julian Glovers, Julian Glover voiced Aragog, and he's also Grand Maester Pycelle in Game of Thrones. So there's the autograph there and he did a little spider drawing. And this is like a, a card I got from eBay of him in, I think it's called Blake 7. I've never heard of it, but that's a very young Julian Glover. So I got that card anyway, because it was quite cheap, and I was like, I'll just have it. And then we have Warwick Davis, who is playing Grip Puck in this photo, but he also played uh, Phileas Flitwick. We have Kieran Shah, who played a goblin in uh, Harry Potter, and he was also the Goblin, I forgot his name, the dwarf in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. I forgot the name of the character. And then I make these myself to send off to the actors who played Goblins. So we have Alan Bennett, who did me a lovely note at the back as well. Adam Alderman, who must have ran out of his colour pen because he changed his pen. Um, Artie Shah. Diane Gibbons, who was a Dobby stand-in as well as a goblin, and she wrote me a lovely letter as well. Um, Toby Jones, who obviously voiced Dobby, as you know, and he was also in uh, Doctor Who and The Hunger Games and a lot of other stuff. And Lenny Henry, who voiced the shrunken head in The Prisoner of Azkaban. And I'm really uh, happy... Eh? I'm really pleased to have this one because I quite like Lenny Henry anyway in some of the stuff he's done. So the next uh, section is Order of the Phoenix and Ministry of Magic. So we have Natalia Tina who plays Nymphadora Tonks. I adore Natalia Tina. I've probably said this a thousand times before but Tonks and Bellatrix Strange are my all-time favourite characters in Harry Potter. Natalia Tina also plays Osha, Osha in Game of Thrones who should hopefully, I, I believe she's coming back this season, so I'm really excited. And she also, she's also in a band called Molotov Jukebox, and I just think they're fabulous. So I've wrote to Natalia Tina, this one I purchased, but I've wrote to her, so I really, really hope I get a reply back. And then we have Roger Lloyd Pack. Oh, I've got to move, my legs are hurting. <laughs> Roger Lloyd Pack, who played Barty Crouch, Junior, uh, Barty Crouch Senior. He is also obviously not with us, and I also know him well for playing Trigger in Only Fools and Horses and also in Vicar Dibley. So I'm really lucky to get that one back as well. And then Bill Nye, two from Bill Nye, who played Rufus Scrimgeour. And he's also for my Pirates of the Caribbean collection and Doctor Who, in fact. Um, I've wrote him twice, 
with different photos and twice now he's sent me these back so whether they're genuine or not I'm not sure but they must be I, I think if they're in different pen so I assume they are genuine and David Rial who played Alphias Doge he is also not with us anymore and from a, f a few sources they've told me that mine could potentially have been the last one that he ever sent out which is sad really but I'm so lucky to have it so that's David Royale and then Mark Williams he has a very funny autograph who played uh, Arthur Weasley also for Doctor Who Sophie Thompson this is a photo of her in EastEnders as Stella and I have her EastEnders cast card signed in my EastEnders cast card as well but she played um, Mafalda Hopkirk in Harry Potter and then Guy Henry who played Pious Thickness in uh, the Deathly Hallows and this is Guy Henry again I have no clue whether this is just a photo of him or if it's from a film but it was really cheap so I was like I'll, I'll just get it anyway Imelda Staunton who played uh, Dolores Umbridge Alfred Burke who played oh I can't remember who he played but he's a member of the Minister min, uh, he's a member of the Order of the Phoenix he's no longer with us either uh, Nanette Finch, who played uh, Augusta Longbottom, Neville's uh, grandmother. I don't know if any of... Her, uh, in fact, no, none of her scenes were kept in. They were all cut, but she did play her. And then Andy Linden as Mundungus Fletcher. And he signed it, Mundungus Fletcher, as well. Um, Jim McManus, who played Aberforth Dumbledore, I believe, before Kieran Hines took the role. And George Harris, which you can maybe see there, who played Kingsley Shacklebolt. Then the next uh, section is just others. So we've got Simon Fisher-Becker, who I've met twice now. And he's wrote on the card, see you at Easter, because I'm seeing him again in March. Simon Fisher-Becker is just absolutely lovely. I just, I, I just adore him. So this is the photo, the recent one I got a few weeks ago. And this is the one I got the first time I met him. And then we have Terence Baylor, who played the Bloody Baron. Ryan Turner, who played Hugo Weasley, I believe. Paul Redfern, I've got here, who was in the Weasley wedding scenes. And I've also got him in the back for Fantastic Beasts, because he's going to be in Fantastic Beasts. Hazel Douglas, who played um, Bethilda Bagshot. And there's Paul Redfern's note at the back. And then Alan Cordner, who signed a, a card for me. He signed my collage. This is all the people he's voiced in the Harry Potter game series. And he also wrote me a lovely letter. Michael Henbury. I believe it's Michael. No, it's not Michael Henbury. It's... I forgot his name, but he sent me a, a card and a Christmas card. His name should be here. Oh, it just says Michael. Um, I've forgotten his name, but Michael... And he was supposed to be wearing this in one of the prophecy scenes in Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix. Although he's mistakenly said Goblet of Fire, but it was Order of the Phoenix. So he was his part was cut, but I've got the autograph anyway. And then Daniel Hill, who played an extra. Oh no, I forgot uh, this guy's name. But he signed the back of my collage. These are all the people he voiced in the Harry Potter video games. He signed the back of my collage and sent me a nice letter. But I've really forgotten his name, I'm sorry. Uh, it'll be in my book. And then, uh, same for this person. He voiced Xenophilius Lovegod and wrote me a note at the back. And he put Xenophilius Lovegod. Uh, but I've forgotten his name as well. But it's in my book. I think it's Jonathan something. And then Ian White, who I've met. And I got this photo. I did. I made this photo for him to sign. And he signed it for me. And Ian White was... Mad Madame Maxine's a uh, stump double and um, he's he's really really tall I've got a photo with him he's very tall and he was also he played a lot of characters in Game of Thrones probably most notably he played um, the mountain but he's played a lot of characters in Game of Thrones he did the giants as well I think and then Martin Bayfield who played the Hagrid stunt double and young Hagrid and he 
signed these two for me, and he's the first person I've ever had that done it. That's done it. But he signed. He wrote on the letter I sent him and sends it back. And then Martin Ballatine, who is here, he is credited as Mundungus's associate. I got two from him from a friend. Stephen Fry is the narrator of the Harry Potter audiobooks. I love Stephen Fry, like I said in my audiobook video. I really, really like Stephen Fry. I've just wrote to him and I've sent him a picture of him with J.K. Rowling and a picture of him uh, as Reva from the Fable franchise because he voiced Reva. I was debating sending an Alice in Wonderland one, but I thought I'm not going to push me luck, so I just sent two. So I really hope he replies. And then here we have an official card. I don't know how well you can see the signature. But it's an official Harry Potter art box card, I believe. Yeah, art box. Of Toby Regbo, who played the young Dumbledore. There's a full set of these, but they're quite expensive, so I've only got one so far. Then this is Fantastic Beasts. The upcoming Fantastic Beasts. Very anticipated. So Catherine Waterston, who's playing poor Pentina, I believe. Ezra Miller, who's playing Credence. Uh, Eddie Redmayne I have there who's playing Newt Scamander I love Eddie Redmayne uh, I love him in The Danish Girl so much I just can't can't wait to see Fantastic Beasts and this is my uh, Michael Gabattis Mike Gabattis who I met a few weeks ago that's him in Fantastic Beasts and he's signed it and Paul Redfern I have the Paul, and he's going to be in Fantastic Beasts. I think they're both credited as gala guests. I have Paul Redfern here, Paul Redfern I showed you previously, and a Paul Redfern autograph in my Fantastic Beasts Somewhere to Find Them book, which I didn't think to get out, so I unfortunately can't show you it, but he signed my Fantastic Beasts book as well. And then this is the last section, which is pre-printed. This has gone on for a lot longer than I thought it would, so I'm very sorry. Robbie Coltrane as Hagrid, Helena Bonham Carter as Bellatrix, I'll be writing to her very soon. Kenneth Branner, unsure whether it's a preprint or a genuine, as it was bought in a charity shop, played Gilroy Lockhart. Bonnie Wright, who played Jenny Weasley, I've got a genuine in the front, this is what she sends out if you write to her. Mina Lima, who were the graphics designers on the films, I got this autograph uh, when I wrote two... Uh, didn't write to them, sorry, I bought something from their store. I also have uh, Eduardo Lima's autograph in my uh, book that I got from him. I met him. And also I have Warwick Davis signed in a book as well. I forgot to get the books out, so I can't show you. Two Ben Shepherds here. And a Ben Shepherd I received today, which is currently downstairs, which I received from Daniel's autograph collection. So thank you very much, Daniel. Uh, that'll be in the folder soon. Two J.K. Rowling preprints, another J.K. Rowling preprint, Dan, Rupert and Emma, Dan and Emma, both preprints, Derek Hoff, Hugh, preprint, Genevieve, Genevieve Gaunt, preprint, Pansy Parkinson, Natalia Tina, preprint, and another Daniel Radcliffe preprint, and just before I forget, let me stand up and show you the best Harry Potter autograph you could possibly ever have. My J.K. Rowling with a lovely letter. So, yeah. That's obviously the best one. I cried so hard for days when I got this. Um, I will show you these signed books in a future video, but I completely, uh, completely forgot. Here's the John Campling one I was talking about on the wand. But, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'm sorry it's run so long, so if you're still with me, thank you. Uh, and I will post a new video soon, so thank you very much.